Most terror forming and retrofitting of security checkpoints on Holland 4 is complete, but we continue to research the alarming epidemic of breaches by local creatures. Door records show no unauthorized entries, so we must presume the creatures are either slipping in undetected during daily personal moves or else finding their way in through subterranean tunnels. We have found many small breaches of the slider sort and plugged them wherever we can, but it is unlikely that we will ever achieve full extermination of our current timetable. Alright, that's awesome. It's the whole lab. This is where we need to get to. Uh, your computer will tell you along the way, so... I mean, Samson's suit will tell you. Your computer, yes. Hmm. Let's see... There should be another enemy up here, too. Gotta be careful with this guy. He's hiding somewhere. There he is. Out of defense turret, so... If you saw me how I defeated this monster with a power beam... But how about the wave beam, though? Start going ballistic and start shooting everywhere. And uh, if you do that beforehand, uh, before you fight the pirates, you can actually defeat some of the pirates beforehand because I know those shots can take out a space heart in one hit. It's pretty cool, so... Let's do this. Alright, let's keep on going. Are, this place is also full of these narrow halls, so if you're claustrophobic, then that's a plus. Okay, so... Alright, guys. Be careful. Let's see if you can do a... Ah, great name, they saw us. Okay, there's more around here, but we can't find them. They're all up in the uh, higher floors. Then there's one up there. <laughs> they, like to hang on, they like to hang on the ceilings for some reason. And there he is. Whew. What the? How is he? How the hell is he doing? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, okay. Okay, let's see if we can get some power ups. No power ups, man. It's not cool. Here's our elevator, and here, and right on this floor, there are currently about. Uh, in this room has this room has about uh, five pirate, uh, fire, five pirate data. Sorry, and collect some right now. I'm not gonna have uh, this. These updates will actually follow a different way of uh, pirate lore because I'm gonna. There's so much pirate lore in this whole area, so I will have to be. Uh, the pirate lore will be, you know, introduced in a new, different way. So you'll know that'll be evident, like even when you first watch this video. There you are. And you're hiding right there. Man, just one pirate data. Ugh, shoot. He's hiding right there. The, the thing about this base pirate, he's hanging out right there. But there's a problem. There's a problem. There's an annoying problem with this guy. <sighs> oh shoot! I didn't do it right. I'll, sh I'll show a different clip, but um. But this this space pirate was hang, hanging around right here. There, um, he was hanging out with a, right next to a piece of food. Well, it'll be right there in a, a top corner or something. So he's hanging out next to a piece of food. So it's pretty funny that space pirates do eat. So it's it's kind of like a little joke where you get a Easter egg, little Easter egg if you're really careful and stuff. Oh man. Okay. So far, I've scanned three pirate datas and. You can obviously tell with the music that uh, if all the space pirates are not if, or if all the space pirates are not dead, uh, the music will not stop. So you'll know if they're still left. And there you go, five space pirate data lores, which I keep on calling for for uh, out of habit. So my bad. And there's also a um, missile upgrade in here too, but we can't get it just quite yet. We'll be getting it. We'll be getting this missile upgrade on our way out. So I uh, guess you have to come back here too, but this time it'll be different. One there. Oh shoot! Right, these guys can break the boxes. Uh, man, I really, lo I really love an upgrade right now. Oh, if you, oh, I didn't know that. If you stand over here, they they can't see you anymore. That's kind of funny. Okay, so oh, shoot. Okay, these things have very limited range, so they can't see you for squat. Really? There you go. Now you're dead. <laughs> Alright, that's where we have to go to, so... 
Nice little update. Sorry if you guys heard that. Um, uh, GameCube controllers are very loud, so yeah. All right, um, this room has is uh, it's pretty special in my in my case because you can actually glitch out this room and um, and get a power pretty early. Well, not really early, but you can get it by um, doing some pretty neat stuff. But there he is, space pirate. Thank you to the wave beam. It just paralyzes these monsters. So I mean, these enemies. Space pirates aren't monsters, of course they're not. There are five space pirates in this air in this whole room, so two will fall out. Two will fall out after you defeat these uh, first three. Oh, shoot, I should have paid attention to them. Let's see if I can hide behind these things. Oh, I can't believe we did that so quickly. Here they come. And he keeps on hanging onto that damn floor. <laughs> what the hell? It's a glitch. Is that a glitch or something? What the? Oh boy, I guess you can say he's really actually hanging out. I mean, I've done a play. I've done a playthrough of this, and this is the second time this happened. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, good. Okay, this room is very silent. I just don't like this. This is um, feels like you're. Feels like a st um, the calm before the storm in some way. It's actually very eerie, very eerie as well. Let's scan this though. But and uh, first, scan these pirate datas. There are two in this room. I don't know if you scan this one, you get you should give me uh, you should get a 50% logbook if you've uh, been doing what I'm doing. There's one right here. If we're gonna read those. Uh, we're gonna look at those later on. So yeah. All right. Um, okay. This is this is uh, the first step to getting the power up that um, that is in this room. You can also, by the way, scan these things up here too. I mean, well, you should, but never mind. I lied. But okay. Um, it's astro astronomical. Uh, astro dang it. Astronomical projector. Sorry. Jeez. Uh, okay. There are two ways to do this. There is first the normal way, and there's a glitched way. I'm going to show off the glitched way first, so take a look at that. Alright, that was pretty awesome. I'm gonna do the normal way right now. Uh, thanks to the music, um, it tells you that you're doing something right. And I'm just gonna do a stupid little speedrunning trick that a lot of people like doing, I don't know why. It's pretty dumb. Just do this and there you go, just climb this, like this, or you can just go from there and just jump over here, so whatever. Alright. Third part. The spinners, there are four of them in here, so... There you go. Glacial waste on 10.6... 64.2. Research at Post Glacier 1 is very dangerous. Region of Talon 4 is not and is operating at 85% capacity. Sub zero temperatures have made the microwave sluggish and easy to control. Even those will phase on fusion cycles. Cold contaminant stasis tanks are sufficient for the juveniles, but some of the larger metroids have been moved to quarantine caves for safety purposes. Security doors remain an issue. As malfunctions due to ice appear every day. 
armed predators in the waste are also a concern, as they continue to kill personnel in great secure areas. Unfortunately, it has become clear that our containment teams cannot neutralize all of the vast increase in munitions and soldiers in 